Why hello there! Welcome back, and welcome to part 22 of my build log of the Trumpeter 1 to 200 scale model of the Titanic. Today I will be taking the boat for a spin. Not really the right phrase, is it? I'll be taking the boat for a sail. Um, because I'm wanting to test a few things. I want to test the new propellers that I fitted in the last episode to see if they work. Um, but I've also I've added a fair bit of weight to the model since the last time I sailed it, so I want to check that the stability and such is as I am expecting it to be at this point in the build. So I might also chuck in a bit of the other modelling I've done uh, at the end of the video. But for now, I will shut up and let you enjoy the video of the boat sailing on the lake.
So, there we are. Um, propellers seem to work pretty well. In fact, I would actually say that I think the boat's performance has improved. Um, so that I guess the increase in swept area of these new propellers has really done a, a bit of good. Um, they look fantastic in the water as well. Um, and the rudder's performance seems to have improved a bit too. And I suspect that's probably twofold um, for reasons on that. Probably the first one being, you know, if the propellers are more efficient, they're going to push more water over the rudder, so it will become more efficient as well. Uh, so that's one thing. The other thing I suspect is that probably because the boat's a little bit heavier now, um, more of the rudder is submerged, so you, you again, you, you shift more water across it, and therefore the rudder becomes more effective. Um, but overall, I was I was really happy with it. This was the first time I've taken the boat to the lake, and I've been... I've been able to properly enjoy it myself, you know, really nice sunny day, um, the boat performed really reliably, um, so it was great. Minor hitch when a couple of kids started throwing rocks quite close to the boat, <laughs> um, but when they actually realised that I was sailing around there they um, they left, so that was, um, that could have ended up a lot worse than it did. Um, so I will now move on and just show you a few other of the little bits of modelling that I've done since the last video.
So I thought I'd finish off with just showing you where I was. Um, well, deck's pretty much complete, cranes are in and so on. The only things that are left to do are these little side pieces that go down there, and then also the uh, stairs that lead down from B deck into the well deck and then up again onto the poop deck. I uh, haven't done much on the poop deck yet, and I am going to leave it for a little bit because what I want to do next is I want to focus on B deck. 
you can see that I've already added scale decks to the B deck, and I'll show you how I did that in the next episode. Um, but the reason I'm showing you this is because I finally worked out how I'm gonna um, how I'm gonna lift off the superstructure. Um, now I've had a I've had a basic idea of how I'm gonna do this for a while, but the the ins and outs of it I've left until quite late on, um, and this is deliberate because I wanted to see how the boat actually connected together. And what I've now decided to do is to glue in this bulkhead here. So I've glued in the C deck bulkhead. You can see that is actually attached. And I've put some wooden chocks underneath just to increase the surface area that I had to glue this in place. Um, I've also glued, and I've actually shown this in the video, I've actually glued the bulkhead and the aft well deck as well. And then this deck can lift off, like so. Now the reason I'm doing that is because it's, it's, it's all a bit of a compromise really, there's no perfect way of doing this. But what I thought is that if I were to lift off this section as well, the ladders here, and probably the cranes as well, would get hammered. At some point they would get smashed into and they'd be ruined and that would be that. And that would be exactly the same at the front. These cranes are a, a bit vulnerable, so are all these winches, and the same with the ladder down here. Everything would get smashed up. So I thought by leaving these bulkheads in place, these really fine fiddly little bits of detail have a protection. They've got protection on them. And then all of the stuff in the superstructure and there is still vulnerable stuff here, but it's not quite as susceptible to damage when it's lifted off. For example, there's a railing along here, but that won't be quite as easy to damage because I'll be lifting. And really, there shouldn't be any, you shouldn't be putting your hands anywhere near this section. At the front, there's virtually nothing which is actually going to be damaged. There might be a couple of people or something here, um, but there's not going to be anything particularly irreplaceable. Um, that's going to be damaged here. So that's my rationale. Right, so I'm going to leave it there. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I've now made an Instagram page for this channel, uh, same name as the channel, so search that and you should find it. Um, and I'm going to put photos and stuff as I'm going. Um, I don't know if it's going to be of any interest to people, um, and if it's not particularly well received, I won't bother with it, but I just thought it might be um, might be of interest to some people so they can get a bit more detail on how I'm actually going about doing things. Um, so in the next video I'm going to be working mainly on the superstructure, getting the sides of the superstructure in place, that kind of thing, getting B-deck done, starting on the interiors into B-deck, so um, plenty of work still to do. Um, if you have enjoyed this um, please give me a like or subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, whatever, whack them down below and I'll do my best to get back to you and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.